today I would like to take you on a tour along a collection of ancient and contemporary sites and what they all have in common. It requires just two cardinally oriented sites to define our current geographic pole, also called the spin axis. It is not about the magnetic pole. The magnetic pole is not really interesting from an astronomical point of view. So this, uh, take for example this Chinese pyramid, it is cardinally oriented. Then we go to Giza, also cardinally oriented. And we draw two northerly extended lines. And the crossing point of these lines is our geographic pole. You see that here. So the crossing point, that is the spin axis. And the more sites we use to define the spin axis, the more accurate it becomes. You see that here, Giza on the left, Chinese pyramid on the right. I will now take you on a short tour and show you that virtually all cultures have the same in common and the desire to orient important buildings to the spin axis or the North Pole. The White House. Yaksa Sochi Kaoko, what an impossible name, it's probably not even the original name. Conembriga in Portugal. Yes, even the Wembley Stadium in London. Paris Observatory, as most observatories around the world, they are virtually all cardinally oriented. And of course the Vatican. The Vatican is slightly counterclockwise oriented. It was originally oriented to the magnetic pole that was close to the spin axis at the time the Vatican was built. Then 
and there is Giza again. It's Then Masada, a massive structure built on an enormous tooth-like mountain. Americans would say Resafe, but it's Resafe. And Nimrod. And not to forget the Azadi Tower in Tehran, the biggest friend of the United States. The Palace of Nations, also called the White House, located in Tajikistan, built by and for a dictator, of course. I still cannot pronounce this name. The Pat, uh, Pat and so on temple in India. The Sri Rangam temple. Lambini in Nepal. And an Angkor Wat in Cambodia. Emperor Ai of Han, which of course is not of the Emperor of Ai of Han, but is built long before that time. And then the Imperial Residence, it is the only currently oriented building in this area shows the importance of the structure. When we combine them all together, we see there's an enormous node formation on the North Pole. This node defines the exact location of the North Pole. And this is the method we have used to define four other geographic poles which run over Greenland. And that is why the method has, has nothing to do with religion or ideas or convictions. It's a mathematical method, pure and powerful. This was a sort of intermezzo video. And I will continue, of course, with my series. Series about pole shifts and ice ages. And this video is especially interesting for the upcoming videos about triangulation and uh, orientation. Thank you for watching and until the next time. Bye bye.